Letzo. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's vlog is all going to be filmed on my phone because I forgot my vlog camera at my apartment. But I'm actually back home today with my mom and sister and we're going to a flea market which I thought it would be a fun little vlog to show um, and bring you guys with us and then do like a haul of things that I got. Um, I'm actually on my way now with them. I have to drop off um, a couple of orders at Hope's house and then um, we're gonna go get some quick breakfast and then head to the flea market. I'm really excited and if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Alright, see you guys soon. Ryan Little. <laughs> actually the next day that I'm filming the haul portion of my like flea market finds and everything. Um, I just got out of the shower and last night whenever I got home it was like darker outside so I didn't really want to like film because there wasn't good lighting and things. And then um, yeah I was just like trying to um, I was pretty tired is what I'm trying to say so I just didn't film the haul portion of the flea market finds but today I am and I'm so excited to show you guys everything I got because I have this huge pile of stuff all over here and I really do think that I found some really great finds for really good prices so let's get into it. The first thing I got is this hat. This actually isn't for me it's for Patrick but um, it says like Aviator Nation on it and it just like really looks like a hat that is his aesthetic and vibe so I saw that and got that for him um I believe this one was like three dollars so um I actually found this the booth that I went to so the booth that I went to I actually um went and they had this huge table of like Levi's and I was like okay they had a rounder full of these like really cool graphic tees and I was like where is the owner how much are these things and the man that was sitting over there was like are you the owner and he was like no the owner actually like rode down the like the um like strip for a minute he'll be back later and I was like okay and I was with my mom and sister so I didn't want to just stay in there and like wait like I wanted to be able to keep walking on and stuff so I was like okay I have to come back for this booth before we leave and just pray that the guy is here and that everything is still left by the time we get back. Thank goodness, made our rounds, came back, he was there. Um, and he's actually like a vintage wholesaler, which is super cool because um, if you don't know, me and my best friend Hope, we have an online shop and we hand make and upcycle apparel, accessories, and decor. So a lot of our items we thrift or we find like different um different places and then we remake them into like our own type of thing which is really cool and so we're always looking for like vintage Levi's and um like really cool graphic tees we can bleach and tie-dye and do all these different things too so I was like super excited to find this place and then also talk to the guy because um like I said he's a vintage wholesaler so he goes to like all these market shows and he has people like buying things and looking for things for him and he like will sell them and um find pieces for like shops and things so got a connection there which was fun but I got 
like a great amount of things from him so this hat was one of the things i got for patrick that was one of the things from there and then i got this like oversized nike t-shirt and i think i'm gonna keep this one for myself and um like spiralized bleach it i haven't decided yet if i want to keep it as is or if i want to bleach it but yeah it's super super cute it like fits me just right where um it's like oversized to wear with like biker shorts so really excited for this then um all the t-shirts i think were like four or five dollars um i bought so much from him that he like cut down the price a little bit whenever i like finished shopping and was ringing everything up so i think they came to about four dollars each the next thing i got from him i'm keeping for myself <laughs> and it is these levi's here and i was just talking about how i wanted a pair of levi's that like were a little bit like of a mom jean on me and they fit like a straighter leg because a lot of my mom jeans that i have they flare on the bottom and this has a little bit of flare to it but not like the others so i can't tell if i want to like distress a little bit like a little slit in the knee because i think that'd be really cute um and my mom jean, none of my mom jeans have like holes in them or anything because they're all from the thrift stores but they have like a little wear on the bottom which i think just like gives a little character you know and they fit me just right so i love how these fit and i got them for ten dollars which like is a little pricey for like the flea market side of things um like if i went to the thrift store they would probably be a little cheaper than that but it's hard to find that many levi's in one place and i actually had gone to another booth and they had like this huge table of levi's and they were all 15 dollars each so i'm glad i didn't get them there and i ended up getting a pair from him so i got those and then I got this shirt for our shop. It's this like older Fila tee and it's oversized too. And we're going to bleach this and kind of do some different stuff to this one. But yeah, it fits basically the same as like this Nike one did. And um, yeah, I'm really excited for this one. It's going to be really cute. The next tee I got um, is for the shop as well. It's this like cropped graphic tee. And... Um, yeah, we'll definitely do something to this, um, whether we keep it or we like cut this portion out and use it on something else. Haven't really decided yet, but yeah, really cute. And then I got, I'm trying to do all the things from his booth first so he can kind of like keep them together. Um, but this was also for the shop. It's this um, Harley Davidson um, black tank. We'll probably like crop and bleach it. Sorry, I literally just like threw that t-shirt in my eyeball. Um, but we'll probably like crop and bleach and do something fun to this as well. Okay, the last thing I got from his shop, I think, yeah, was these Levi shorts that I think I'll keep for myself, but we'll see. Um, they kind of fit me a little weird. Um, but they're like already distressed and stuff and they're just super super cute um, like I said they're also Levi's and um, I don't have any like Levi's shorts like this um, so I really only have like two pair of denim shorts that I wear continuously um, so I thought I would just grab these they were also ten dollars um, whether I keep them for myself or for the shop either way they're gonna be super super cute for me or for somebody else because um, my waist is like a little smaller than like my butt and my thighs so um basically these shorts like fit kind of bigger around the waist but like a little tighter on the legs so i haven't decided yet if i want to keep them or not but we'll see they're still super cute okay that is all i got from his shop um yeah so i got a pretty good bit of things from him and then i went to another little vendor and they had a deal where it was like a grab bag you fill a bag um, worth of stuff and you get it for three dollars so um, they were kind of picked over I didn't have a ton of things to choose from um, but I knew that even if I got just like two things it would be worth three dollars worth you know so from them I got these let me button them back up these Levi little shorts we're definitely going to do something to these um for our shop so 
if you guys are not following our shop you totally should we're on etsy and on instagram and it's at shop with Lumini. i'll leave it like here um yeah definitely check us out and i'll leave like the link for our etsy shop in the description box so you guys can check us out um we're constantly po posting new things so yes so we're definitely going to redo these little levi shorts and then um i also got stick with me here <laughs> um that's what i've literally told everybody before i show them what i got because these have like a specific vibe to them you know the vibe of these is very 70s groovy um they're high waisted like these green pants and they have a slight flare to the bottom of them but i would wear these with like platform shoes like whether sandals or like a platform sneaker or something um and like a little cropped tank or a cropped tee or something like that um yeah it's like definitely a 70s vibe um but the pattern like the fabric itself i really liked and um yeah i just thought they were kind of cool and retro so i got those um, and then I also got these three stickers. I had like a bowl of stickers. So I was like, why, why not just throw these in the bag? So I got this like Rolling Stones tongue. I got this Coca-Cola sticker. And this one was just funny to me. is the Tom and Jerry. Um, this Tom and Jerry sticker. Let me see. Yeah, this little Tom and Jerry sticker. So um, I just thought they were cute and I was like you know what might as well put them in the bag and then I also got this bowl which I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna do with it um whether I put it in my hope chest or like somewhere here in my apartment um whether in my room or like out for candy or something I don't know but yes um I was like you know what I can put this in my bag so I'll put it in the grab bag <laughs> um so that's all I got from them and then this uh, I was actually really excited about because I just like walked up to this little um, booth and I was looking through the stuff and I picked up this this and I was like just looking at it because I'm like a barista now I love coffee so I was like mm, this is so I would be very interested in getting this and I didn't even say anything I just picked it up I was looking at it and the man was like if you like that like you can totally just have it and I was like just have it like you don't want anything for it he's like no um like i'm scared it's gonna break and like while i pack up it's gonna break or someone's gonna break it so if you like it you can just have it for free and i was like for free i'll take it so it's this uh i still have to wash it but it is this like espresso shot like the cup you use to measure your espresso shot and i just got an espresso machine not too long ago um that i'm still trying to figure out and like get the right um ground for my bean and stuff to get it going but yes i had this little shot and i was like are you kidding me like this is one that we use one that we kind of use at like the the coffee shop that i work at so i was really excited to find this and it was for free you can't pass up free so got this little espresso shot um measuring cup here and then um i got from this one really sweet lady um i haven't really decided necessarily what i want to do to these yet but um they are the u.s polo um, association i guess they're polo brand basically um but they're kind of like some vintage ones and they're black and i got these because i really don't have any like black jeans i have one pair of black skinny jeans but like none like this so and i really like the way they fit me around my waist and my butt but i don't really like the legs so i'm thinking i'm gonna cut the bottom little hem off so they'll frame a wash and then i think i'm gonna like put some holes in them so they can be distressed on the leg so i'll like the leg a little better um, but yeah, these were $2 and the wash on them is kind of like worn, like a worn in kind of black, which I liked. Um, the next thing I got from the little booth I was at is this really cute pink cardigan and I'll put it on so you can get the vibe of it. But yeah, it's like one of these and it has the little like clasp in the front. Let me see if you can get it. Hello? Okay. 
So it has like the little clasp in the front. This is like totally my vibe with some mom jeans or something. And yeah, it was one dollar. So you know I had to get it. Can't beat a dollar. So I'm really excited to wear this with like mom jeans in the fall time. I'm just like really excited for that. And then I also got this um, like basic little nude tank and um, it is a size large it's a little large on me so um, it fits me like okay up here it's just I would have to tuck it into some jeans or like crop it some like under my bra or something um, just so that it like fit me right but it was only a dollar two and I just really liked how basic it was and I thought it was really cute and the last thing that I got is this denim jacket which I was like going in between keeping it for myself or giving it to the shop to remake I think I'm gonna give it to the shop <laughs> but um yeah it's just this like really nice quality denim jacket and um it is like really sturdy it has like this little detail on the back and it's like very heavy duty like it's not like a lightweight one um and it was only five dollars so definitely gonna remake this do something really fun and cool to it for the shop because it's a little large on me for me to keep for myself even though i love a good oversized piece it's a little like too oversized you know what i mean so definitely gonna give it to the shop and i'm really excited about everything i got i felt like i got some really great pieces for really inexpensive prices and i definitely would have had um more like decor pieces um i just like live in my apartment with three roommates and like basically everything we have is like decor and decorated really well so i didn't really have in mind like anything in particular for like my home to look for unless it just like stood out to me you know um and obviously i'm always looking for stuff for my hope chest but yeah i mainly just got like clothes which is totally fine with me and i think i hit like a jackpot for our shop we have a lot of new pieces um that will be coming so that's really fun and exciting um as for my mom and sister what they got my my sister is planning for um her home which i don't remember if i said that in the clip before or not when i was on my way home but she found some like um, decor pieces that she can put back for her house and then um, my mom just got like a couple of decor pieces she got like some um, like antique bottles that were like an amber color and a green color so yeah overall it was like a fun day I was really excited I was able to come home for like the first or I was really happy I was able to come home for a few days so I could go to the flea market with them i haven't been like flea market shopping in a long time so i was really excited about that and it was like super hot <laughs> but it was a lot of fun so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog i know it wasn't like super long and i didn't have like a whole bunch of stuff in it but i hope you guys um liked it and if you did um don't forget to give it a thumbs up also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I am on a posting schedule now, so I post new video every single Wednesday. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications bell so you are notified every single time that I upload. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!